Hello, how are you third year? I hope you are fine. Well, today we have uh, a sunny and cold day. Um, we are going to check the mistakes from the story. Uh, we are going to check the revision. Yes, you need four. Yes, I'm going to tell you what things you must revise. Yes, okay. Open your files in the Google Classroom. See all the mistakes in the written part, in the writing, and in the grammar part. Please concentrate and see. Check the mistake. Don't leave it and say, okay, it's corrected. Bye-bye. No. Remember, you, I correct. You must check. Yes, okay. And see if you understand. And then we are going to go to uh, the video watch. Yes, pages 54 and 55. And then you are going to record a video, a three minutes video. This is the oral task from unit four. Remember, we have the revision that is from the written part. Then you have to send me a video from the uh, oral, yes, with the oral task. Okay, you have to tell a mysterious story. And you must, uh, the mass words you must introduce in your, in your story, superlative, comparative, first, unfortunately, luckily, and in the end. Remember, I don't want you to read from a paper, yes? I want you to tell me the story without reading. You can organize your story on a paper, you can write it, write it on a paper, but I want you to tell me like this. First of all, yes, um, it was a very cold night, it was raining, my mother was serving a cup of tea, yes, in the living room, my mother was serving tea in the living room, yes, I was looking through the window, yes, the window was cleaner, my window was cleaner than my father's window, so I could see everything. And that day, I saw the most spectacular accident in front of my house. There weren't two cars. There weren't two bicycles. There weren't two bicycles. Yes? They are. There were two spaceships flying in front of my window. Luckily, the window was shut so they couldn't enter yes okay and blah 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 first i saw them discussing then they started shouting yes in the end yes and you continue saying yes in the end both of them died and the spaceship the spaceship is in my garage as a trophy Yes, okay? Is it clear? Well, I want you to describe it, but don't write. Last night I went to, because I realize when you are reading. Is it clear? It doesn't matter if you show me or not, but I realize. Yes, okay? Porque uh, supónganse que yo hago esto, pego allá y empiezo a leer toda mi clase. Today is Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay? And revision number one, ba, 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 ba. Last night, last night, uh, I saw a cat in front of my... Do you understand? Yes, okay. Or maybe I, I saw a cat. I, I haven't got anything in my hands, anything in my hands. Yes, but they are. I stick, uh, suppose I, I can stick something there and read. Yes, don't cheat. Yes, please. Just read, uh, just... Uh, Organize your ideas and then say uh, your story, a nice story, a mysterious story, and introduce all the things, yes? Okay, well, let's go to the analysis, then we are going to go to the video, we have many things to do. Camila, enviar en PDF, por favor. ¿Sí? Ok, me dijiste y me volviste a enviar en, en un formato que no es, en foto. Y yo necesito, para corregir, en 
PDF, chicos, estamos a mitad de año, es June, casi, almost June, y todavía tengo que seguir mandando, devolviendo tarea porque no están en PDF. Atención, por favor, porque se me atrasa el trabajo a mí. ¿Sí? ¿Está? Well, I want to show a story. I like this story. Yes, this story. Listen. On a rainy day, I was tired. Yeah. I was tired on a rainy day. Quedaría mejor ahí, eh? And I was with a lot of headache. A big headache podía ser ahí, eh? So I decided to go to sleep. The other day, my headache was gone. But I felt something was wrong. Come. I decided to ignore it. Decided to infinitive. Anna and when to brush my teeth. Teeth es singular um, Jose. No, es, sí, Jose. Está. Eh, tooth es singular, singular, and teeth is plural. No necesita esa S ahí. And at that moment, I saw myself in the mirror. I noticed a big mouth with big teeth and a big part of my head. 50 days later, My mouth was still there and I discovered so much thing no. So much things no. Remember, many is for countable. Many tables, many things. And much is for uncountable. Much love, for example. Many things, comma. One of them was the fact that nobody can see it. Nobody could see it. Pero bueno, que no nadie lo podía ver. Yes, and the other fact was, ves que ahí lo pusiste was, entonces acá, nobody could see it. And the other fact was that, luckily, it is a very nice, it is very nice. So, we became friends, we became friends, friends. One day he told me that he would go because already, because he already became my friend. Uh, it was very nice. It was very nice. So we became friends. One day he told me that he would go because he already became my friend. That day he said goodbye to each other. We said goodbye to each other. We said in the past. And in the end I woke up and the mouth wasn't there anymore. It was a very nice story. Very imaginative. Yes. Okay. But... Uh, esa me la guardé como para ejemplo porque me gusta mucho. Yes, ok. Aparte, para poder mostrar. Así que atención a eso, eh, agregarle por favor, José. Yes. And I have, um, escribí en el grupo de papás. Tengo cuatro historias, four stories, que son parecidas. ¿Sí? Ya la van a ver ustedes. Yo escribí en el grupo de padres si es que ustedes, padres, si es que se estuvieron comunicando, si es que hablaron de la historia por WhatsApp o algún medio. Porque hay cuatro historias que son similares y, bueno, de una sola mamá me contestó. Ya van a ver ustedes y van a, a sacar sus conclusiones. ¿Está? Benicio, Dani, Gui, eh, Mía y Rodri. Fíjense, por favor. Voy a leer. Last month. Ojo, aparte de esto, eh, Benicio, tiene muchos errores esta, ¿eh? No sé qué te está pasando con el, pas, el present simple, que lo querés poner en todas partes. Acordate que acá, en una historia, todos presten atención porque este fue el error común de la historia. En una historia está en pasado y ahí vas a jugar con el pasado continuo, el pasado simple o el pasado perfecto. ¿Y es? ¿Está? Ahora vamos a verlo. Last month. I got to work in New York. I got a job in New York. I had been the best. I was the best employee. O I had been. Había sido, Benicio. No, as yo he sido. Porque acá si vos le pones I have been, vos querés poner eh, un pasado, un, un perfecto ahí. Y tiene que ser pasado perfecto, no presente perfecto. 
¿está? Cuando te vas atrás en el pasado, había sido el mejor tal, en ese momento, vas a ir en pasado perfecto. Así que atención. I have been the best employee. One day my boss told me, no me ha dicho, me dijo that, o me dijo, I told me to travel to Texas for being the best employee. Yes, okay. He gave me, he gave me documents for traveling. Luckily, coma, I had the documents. Yes, no adelanten esta parte que yo estoy explicando los errores porque son errores que aparecen en las historias y que le van a aparecer errores comunes a todos. Sí, porque a veces me da la impresión de que como adelantan el video, listo, ya vi todo el video y no están viendo cosas, tips. Inclusive esto me di cuenta, I realized in the revisions. ¿Yes? ¿Por qué? Porque hay tips, ¿sí? Ejemplos que yo di en el instructivo, digo esto en español, en el instructivo para hacer la revisión y inclusive con esos tips que di, con esas respuestas que di, estaban mal las, las, las revisiones. Entonces, remember, you have to follow the instructions with the video and then do the activity. ¿Yes? I was happy. Luckily... We have, uh, luckily, well, luckily, I had the documents, yes, ok, yo había tenido, yo le hubiese puesto en presente, en pasado siempre, ¿no? yes, ok, I was happy in the play, right. I was happy in the play, But there was turbulence. Yes? I was being, estaba siendo, no, I was scary, no, estaba siendo scary. I was scary. When I was arriving, I thought I could, I could go by bike, or I could ride a bike, or I could buy a bike. Eh? Cuando estaba llegando, ahí está el pasado continuo. I was arriving, yo le hubiese puesto, when I arrived, I thought I could rent a bike, or I could go by bike for riding, or I could get, I could buy a bike for riding. On the first day, I was going to ride my bike. First, the weather, Y ya Benicio me contestó y... Bueno, vamos a ver. Si puedo ver la otra parte. Ahí está. Bueno, hasta ahí viene bien la historia, pero después yo le encuentro que son iguales con otras. Tal vez es pura coincidencia, ¿sí? Ah, uh, Sally, but when I was arriving at the highest mountain in, in Texas, the weather was changing. El tiempo estaba cambiando, no. The weather changed, lo hubiese puesto ahí, Benicio. Now the weather was raining. Now it was raining. My bike was the worst bike in the world. For this reason, I left it. No repitas my bike otra vez. A car helped me. Desde acá, ¿eh? Desde acá empiecen a ver las similitudes. When I was in the car, I told... I told the, back, the bus, the car driver, es I told, ahí está, algo que, tachalo vos, Benicio, por favor, es acá. I told somebody, le decís a alguien, I told the bus driver, o I tell somebody something, yes, a ver, te pongo mejor así, es tell Somebody, something, anotate de Benicio, o tell something to somebody. I told the bus driver, yes, okay, o I told my car was, uh, my bike was broken to somebody, ¿está? Yes, okay, corregilo eso por favor, Benicio, tachámelo, yes, okay. I told him my experience in my, I told him my experience in my bike. And he gave me the best bike in the world because he had a bicycle shop. O sea, le da una bicicleta porque tenía un, bar, una, una, un shop de bici. In the end, when I was arriving at the hotel, uh, the car crashed into another car. 
I was in coma, I came back to my work 15 day, days later. Tal vez es, está lindo el plus, ¿yes? Tal vez es una coincidencia, ¿yes? Por eso pregunté yo si es que estaban por ahí charlando, se contaron y... ¿Yes? ¿Ok? One day, this is Dani. One day I had... Uh... Ahí viene desde acá. One day I have a. One day I had a. Terrible. Ah, one day I have a terrible journey. I was going and suddenly it started raining. También se larga la lluvia, yeah? The rain left me. <coughs> left me. Uh, Didn't let me see anything. No me dejaba ver nada. And a car crashed me. Luckily, I wasn't hurt. Ojo las comas. The driver was very nice and he owns <coughs> a bicycle shop. También tiene un bicycle shop este. Yes, and he owns a bicycle shop. Yes, okay. So the, days later he gave me a new bike. También le regalo una bicicleta. Yes, y su bicicleta es mejor. In the end, the man and I became friends and we go riding together. They are similar. Yes, ok. Por eso pregunté si es que estaban charlando ustedes, por ahí se contagiaron y me escribieron similar idea. Máximo, también me mandaste en un formato que no es PDF. No puedo corregir si me mandan en formatos que no son PDF. Acá está mía. One day, one day I had a terrible journey to work. También se va al trabajo. I was cycling because I wanted to relax. And suddenly it started raining. También llueve. When I crossed the street, a car hit me, hit, hit my bike. I wasn't hurt. The driver was very nice. He owns a bicycle shop. También tiene un, un, una bicicletería, un lugar de shop de venta de bici. Days later, he gave me a bike. We are happy in the end. Y se convirtieron en amigos. We, they became friends. También es similar. No es que me parece nomás a mí. Así que chicos, por favor, no sé. Eh, fíjense. Rodri. Eh, Informosa province in the north, ta, 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 next to the Pacific Ocean. One day I was at the office because I was working. Ahí tengo que usar el pasado continuo. I was working. Estaba trabajando. And I uh, had a bad day. Yes, bueno, listo. When I, I be, uh, when I came home, it began to rain. There a cat hit me. También llueve, le chocó un coche. But luckily I wasn't hurt. O sea, son todas historias de un accidente, que te choca un coche, que te regala una bicicleta, ¿sí? Tal vez es una coincidencia. I wasn't hurt. Um, was very nice. He took me to my home. Um, 50 days later, también 50 días después, the driver called me saying uh, he had a bicycle shop. También tiene un bicycle shop. Many days later, I went to uh, the bicycle shop and he gave me a bike. También te da una bicicleta. In the end, the driver apologized. Blah, blah, blah. The driver and I were... Uh, and he were... No sé qué más dice ahí. No alcanzo a leer. Yes, okay. Lo perdonó y tal. ¿Está? Yes. Ok. They are similar. Yes. Por eso puse en el grupo de papás si es que se estaban comunicando para que sean tan similares las historias. O a lo mejor leyeron algo online y después bosquejaron otra historia. Pero bueno, son similares, chicos. ¿Está? Así que fíjense. Yes. Ok. Y traten de hacer con sus palabras, con sus... ¿Está? Eh, y sigue habiendo muchos, muchos errores. There are a lot of mistakes. Why? Because you are not checking. Yes? Whenever you check, cuando empieces a chequear todo, ahí va a empezar a cambiar. Y vas a disminuir el número de errores. Yes? But check. 
revision. ¿Qué te pasó, Maxi, que me estás mandando tarde la revisión? ¿Yes? El que tiene algún problema, me escribe o algo, porque yo hoy estoy entregando todas las correcciones. A partir de hoy, yo ya tengo nuevas correcciones asignadas de otros cursos. ¿Sí? Revisiones, composiciones. Entonces, ¿qué haces? Que tu trabajo te llegue tarde la corrección, ¿sí? Y que no estés ahora acá con nosotros con las correcciones que estamos haciendo. ¿Está? Yes, well, let's go to um, revision. Guille, will be able to pick up this. Seré capaz de recoger. Wait for, acuérdate que wait for, I was waiting for my mother, pay for something. Any of us was hurt. Jose, so many, ah, eso es lo que ya dije, became friends, Rodri forgave me. The province of Formosa, no Formosa province, yes, ok, well. Voy a la revisión, yes, revision, 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 yes, 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 ok. Lo que tienen que revisar todos es el past simple, past continuous, yes, ok, sí o sí, bien, yeah. bien Rodri, eh? <coughs> ok, bueno. Ok, so in the first one, in the first part it's complete, yes, ok. Do you have it there? Emma. Yes, Emma and nearly, nearly broke her leg. Was, es, ahí era sleep. Yes. Resbalarse. Yes, ok, que es en la mayoría slipped. Yes, Emma slipped and nearly <coughs> broke her leg. Yes, number two, they took. Yes, number four, tried. Number five, didn't plan. Number six, did, yes, okay, did you really, number six, did you really walk all the way home? Caminar, eh? In number seven, didn't go. We didn't go on that road trip, okay, road trip. <coughs> Tense is awful, eh? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Formosa. Muy bien, Rodri. When did you start learning English? I started learning English in... 2011. Acá. What was your favorite subject, Rodri? Porque if you want to put what were your favorite subjects, yes, but it was in singular. What was your favorite subject at school? Yes. My favorite subject at school was natural science. Yes. Where did you go on your last holidays? I went to Entre Rios. Yes. What was the weather like? Um, Last weekend, acá la, la D, ponele Rodri, por favor, corregir la D. <coughs> weekend, it was sunny and hot, ok. Vamos al ejercicio 3. Este es el que estamos, oh my God, in general, yes, ok. It says, they, why was eaten shouting, atención, cuando yo tengo el when, When, yes, I was shouting when my mother, look, knocked at the door. I tengo una combinación del pasado continuo con el pasado simple. Y me voy a dar cuenta por esta palabrita, when. Acá está, yes, ok. Why was, y ahí tenés que armar, ¿no? Why, y tan was shouting, sino... Why was Ethan shouting when I arrived? Why were you drinking mate when 
your sister cried? Yes, or was crying. A veces puede haber las dos combinaciones. Pasado continuo, que es la que está en proceso, y otra actividad también en proceso. I was drinking mate when my sister was crying. Yes, is it clear? I was driving my car when a car hit me. Yes, ok. Esa acción que interrumpe la acción en proceso va a ser en pasado. Yes, ok. Y va a estar el when para avisarme. Así que warning, I am. Ok. Después tenemos, uh, what was your favorite, no, perdón. Uh, number three, met, dropping off. I met an old friend as, Yes, dropping off my son. Yes, cuando le estaba dejando a mi hijo me encontré con un amigo. Number four. Number four. Was the sun, was the sun shining? When, otra vez, when I woke up. Pasado simple, hay un when que me introduce otro tiempo. Y si yo, este lo daba yo, pero todos los días lo daba. I was drinking a cup of tea when... I was looking through the window. My mother was driving a car when... Lo doy todas las clases de este, de las clases anteriores. Así que es cuestión de prestar atención. Chicos, pay attention. In these tests, in the compositions, I realize that you are not paying attention. If you pay attention, you will have better results. Yes? Okay? Good. Number five. End it, arrive. His adventure ended when his parents arrived. Acá hay otro when, pero su aventura terminó cuando llegaron sus padres. ¿Está? Pasado, pasado. A veces se puede dar pasado continuo con pasado, a veces pasado, pasado continuo con pasado continuo. Ojo, eh, Benicio también, ¿eh? Yes. Y pasado con pasado. Yes, ok. His adventure ended when the parents arrived. Yes? No estaba terminando. Olivia was surfing while... Ojo, acá también el while. Atención cuando te aparece. Mientras. Yes? Ok? I was doing my homework while my father que was fixing. Ahí te da lo que te explicaba recién. Pasado continuo, pasado continuo. Mientras mi padre estaba arreglando, yo estaba mirando la tele. Estaba arreglando la, la, la heladera. ¿Es clear? While I was fixing my table, my desk, my husband was cooking, por ejemplo. ¿Es clear? Entonces, atención a when, why. Marcátelo, por favor, con un highlighter en el cuaderno. ¿Es ¿Sí? ¿Sí clear? Number four, to be... 3A, 2B, 3A, yes, he took out a knife quickly and cut the rope, y cortó la cuerda, yes, okay, did you have the knife and muy bien, uh, we sleep, slipped, While we were climbing, se cayeron mientras estaban escalando. Yes, they didn't take many risks. Yes, okay. And then we have exercise five. There, okay. While uh, Tim was sailing in Sweden, Yes. Why? Cambia a when. When the weather suddenly got bad. O sea que el error ahí era marcar. Acordate que decía underline y no me subrayaron, la mayoría no subrayó el error. Está subrayar el error, underline the mistake and correct it. Por eso, si yo explico en las instrucciones para hacer la revisión, y ustedes no lo hacen, me da la pauta de que no están mirando el video, porque es algo que se dice. Igual que las cosas mandar en PDF. ¿Por qué todavía es junio y siguen mandando a algunas personas archivos que no son PDF? ¿Cuántas veces tiene que repetir la teacher? Entonces, concentrate, please. 
¿bien? Porque si no se atrasa el trabajo y a vos te llega tarde la revisión o las correcciones, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Well, uh, you traveled, did you travel? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Tenía el, el error era you traveled, when you travel y la pregunta es when did you travel? Muy bien, perfecto, ahí él lo marcó y lo corrigió. She didn't explain, muy bien, lo marcó y lo corrigió. Why Harry was, yes, y ahí, ojo, 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 was finding out, yes, ok, y es found out, muy bien, muy bien, was finding out, acá es Rodri el error, mientras Harry, yes, ok, finding out, no. found out, yes, he was standing out to that his mother, da, 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 yeah, He wasn't finding out, yes, ok, ahí es found out, acá, acá, yes, why Harry was uh, shouting, eh, esperen chicos porque no veo bien ahí, yes, ok, it says, why Harry was visiting his relative, he found out, ahí está, why Harry, esta es la actividad que está en proceso, why, mientras estaba visitando, ¿qué pasó? Se dio cuenta, yes, Ok, que su pariente, esa su parienta, la, el abuelo de la madre, era un famoso mountaineer. Yes, ok. Mientras estaba haciendo algo, me di cuenta que tenía la, los pantalones rotos. ¿Is it, is it clear? Entonces, traducirlo si es necesario, pero que te quede uh, meaningful. Ok. How did you meet two? How did you meet two? Yes, how you two meet. Yes, ok, how did you two meet? Yes, how did you two meet? Yes, ok. How did you two meet? How did you two meet? ¿Cómo se encontraron ustedes dos? Yes, how did you two meet? ¿Es clear? Yes, ok. Bueno, eso es con respecto a la corrección. So let's go. Atención entonces a las historias. Yes, ok. Cierro un ratito esto. Yes, ¿es clear? So pay attention, look at the board, yes, borro un ratito de Sani este que me molesta, yes, ok. So, you are going to record, uh, you are going to go to the video watch now, you are going to 54 and 55 from the class book, I'm going to send you the video, yes, record a 3 minutes video, eh, ya te dije, 18 para el 20 a las 19 horas, yes, about a mysterious story. Let's go now, let's go now to uh, pages 54 and 55, very quickly, yes, okay, have you got a, um, a piece of paper, yes or no, tenés un pedacito de papel, así, yes, okay, sacalo por favor, yes, okay, good, 54 and 55, with the date, pone la fecha, a micro adventure, Yes, okay. It's in Croatia. Yes, okay. Do you know? Do you like? Te gustaría estar en Croacia? Yes. Would you like to be there? Yes, okay. Good. It's very nice. Look at the sea there. I want you to describe the picture. Yes, and say if you would like to be there. Yes or no? Yes, okay. I can see in the middle, in the foreground, I can see a mountain. Uh, the, yes, rocks, yes, in the background I can see a big mountain, it's surrounded, it's surrounded by houses, buildings, yes, okay, and I can see a beautiful sea, yes, and they are two mountaineers, maybe they are two mountaineers, maybe they are friends, remember before you watch you have to describe the picture there, yes, and see If you would like, say, if you would like to be there, yes or no, and why. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good, uh, let's go. Okay, well, are you ready? Yes, it should be described. Would you like to be there, yes or no? Yes, I would like to be there because I like mountains, I like nature, uh, not the nature, I like nature, I like the sea. I like swimming. I don't know if uh, rock climbing um, 
it's good for me yes uh, but maybe uh, I will try yes okay I can try it yes okay well so I want you to pay attention yes and I want you to, and I love the sea, yes? You can do many activities in the sea, uh, windsurfing, um, you can do uh, snorkeling, yes, okay? Uh, this sea is very transparent, yes, okay? You can do um, canoeing too, yes, okay? Uh, many things there, yes? Uh, you have a beautiful beach there, you can sunbathe, you can walk along the beach, yes, okay, many things there. So I want you to tell me if you would like to be there, yes, and there are many activities you can do. But first of all, first of all, because in the, in the exercise, in exercise number one, it says you have to make a list, make a list, I have mine, yes, make a list uh, of things you did in the 24 hours, Write as many things as you can in two minutes, yes, in two minutes. Are you ready? Yes, you have to write as many things as you can in two minutes. Are you ready? Control the time, yes, okay. Ready, steady, go. Come on, two minutes, come on. Write them. I am waiting for you, come on, two minutes. Okay, there we are. Okay, as many things, yes, about what you think, the things you did in 24 hours, okay, 24 hours. Come on, one minute left. Yes, 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 no, 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 come on. Click, clock, click, clock, click, clock. Click, clock, click, clock, click, clock. Okay, come on, two minutes, there we are, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop, yes, I will say uh, what I have written, yes, okay. In my on my paper okay the 24 hours the things I did in 24 hours okay I got up these are the things I could write in two minutes I did more things yes yeah, but these are the things that I could write in the two minutes yes okay good wait a minute right good I got up, I brushed my teeth. Yes, okay. ¿En qué tienen que estar todos estos verbos en pasado? Subrayalos, por favor. Highlight with the highlighter, like this. All the verbs with the highlighter, yes? I got up, I brushed my teeth. I had breakfast, I corrected my compositions. Uh, I corrected compositions. I prepared my classes. I recorded classes. I answered the phone, I played with my daughter, I had lunch, I recorded more classes, I had some tea, I corrected more homework uh, in the Google Classroom, I had dinner with my family, I cleaned my teeth and I went to bed. Yes, okay, these are all the things I could do in 24 hours, okay? So I want you to stick this, así tiene que estar pegado en tu carpeta, the activities you did in 24 hours, okay? Well, so this is the video I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send to you. You are going to watch the video, yes? And you are going to do all the activities, yes? I'm going to, I'm not going to show all the video, but you are going to um, watch the video. You are going to do circle piece, exercise two, four, five, seven, Yes, and eight. Seven and eight, we are going to do it, do them before finishing the classes. So you have to do one, uh, we, are, if we have already done two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to dictate you the answers, yes, and you're going to see, watch the video. Right, uh, and in the summer, he invited me on a micro-adventure in Croatia. 
The idea was to get as much as we possibly could in 24 hours and to make a short film about it. So first we made a toast like it as the rain stopped. We ate an ice cream flat. Al slapped a wall. We bought some bread, some grapes, some meat. Thank you. We walked down some steps, hired a car and left the city. We drove through a tunnel further down the coast, past this boat, over a bridge, round this bend, still, <laughs> and found a river. We saw some fish and a dragonfly, and we sat in the river's current. Then we drove up into the mountains, we stopped at a castle where Al sat on a wall, and I tried to do an interview. We drove along this trail where we finally abandoned. This is my friend Al Stanfords. He's an adventurer and a writer, and in the summer he invited me on a micro-adventure in Croatia. You know, this is Split, Croatia. Yes, it's very nice. I, my friend was there. He sent me, she sent me some photos and it's uh, amazing. Yes, you can see many things. You can see the mountains, you can see the sea, you can um, sunbathe and it's beautiful. The idea was to fit in as much as we possibly could in 24 hours and to make a short film about it. So first we made a toast, like it was the right stop. We ate an ice cream flat. Al slapped a wall. We bought some bread, some grapes. You know, they bought bread, grapes. Some meat. Thank you. We walked down some steps, hired a car and left the city. They hired a, a car, yes? Okay, rent a car. Hi, a, hi, hire a car. We drove through a tunnel further down the coast, past this boat, over a bridge, round this bend, stall. <laughs> we found a river and went for a swim. We saw some fish and a dra dragonfly. A dragonfly! Oh my god, this is very nice. Look. A fish and a dragonfly. No? This is, they saw a dragonfly. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. I and we sat in the river's current. Then we drove up into the mountains, we stopped at a castle where Al sat on. I want you to make a list, it doesn't say there in the book, but I want you to make a list about all the verbs you listen, yes? Okay, quickly, while you are watching. Al slapped a wall, we bought some bread, some grapes, some meat. We walked down some steps, walked. hired a car and left the city. Left. We drove through a tunnel further down the coast, past oh. this boat, over a bridge, round this bend, still. <laughs> we found a river and went for a swim. We saw some fish and a swim? dragonfly and we sat in the river's cold. Then we drove up into the mountains. Draw. We stopped at a castle Stop. where Al sat on a wall and I tried to do an interview. In a castle? We drove along this trail where we drove again. in the car and distributed all the food that we had. Got the light on. We walked up a path through some trees and saw a butterfly. We hiked further up out of the tree line and finally made it onto the top of a mountain with an incredible view of the coastline. They saw the we incredible had some sunset. view. They saw the sunset. Yes, it's very romantic to see the sunset. Could you like to go with your best friend on a on a trip in a micro on a micro adventure? Yes, it could be very nice. Yes. I went. When I was 23 years old, I went with my uh, friends, with four friends, yes, on a micro uh, adventure. I and mean, it was very nice. We went to the beach. We made a sandwich and had a beer. They made, they made a sandwich. Yes, look, I want you to write all, 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 all the verse you listen in the video okay we took a photo of the city lights below they took a photo you could hear music in a bar playing faintly in the distance i pointed rather courageously as did al and we slept in bivy bags on the top of the mountain they slept in sleeping bag and you will finish the video we next to this rock yawned and drank some water yes they drank some water yes okay i want you to see everything yes to watch the video at home because I will send it to you in the Google Classroom, yes? And it doesn't say, I remind you, it doesn't say here you have to write down all the verbs, yeah? But I want you to listen and write down, write down as many verbs as you can identify there, okay? Is it clear? 
So I want you to go very quickly to exercise now. Uh, it's the time that I will dictate the answers and you will pause the video, do the activities number two, three, four, five, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good? Good. So number two, took, A took, B left, C woke up, D brought, bought, uh, e went, F eight, G sat, H had, I made, J found. Exercise three. One F, two D, three B, four J, five G, six H, seven I, eight I, nine C, ten E. Okay? Exercise four. One B and C, two A, three A and B, C. 4A, B, C, 5A, B, 6C, 7C, um, 7B and C, 8A and B. Exercise 5. 1C, 2C, 3B, 4B and 5A. Yes, that's all. And um, remember I will send it to you. Yes, we are going to, um, we are going to um, speak at home. And it says, you are going to plan 20, a 24-hour micro-adventure. Yes, where will you go? You have to say, where will you go? Uh, what will you do? And what will you see? Yes, okay. So, I will go to the beach. Yes. Uh, and you have, it's a 24-hour. So, you have to organize on a paper all the things you are going to do. Because if you don't organize yourself, your micro adventure, yes, uh, you can't lose uh, time. You have to go very quickly and do all the most uh, popular activities, yes, or important activities you want to do. For example, where will you go? I will go to the beach. I will, um, well, I will see this, the sea. No, 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 no. I will rent a car. Uh, I will rent two bikes, yes. Um, I will uh, drive, yes, okay, to the uh, best sea, the best beach, yes. I will sunbathe, yes, uh, I will swim, I will eat something, I will drink water, I will sleep for just three or four hours, yes. I will drive uh, to the next beach. Uh, we're going to stop there. We are going to stop there. Uh, we are going to ride our bikes. Uh, we will ride to the next beach. Yes, but because I imagine uh, the place where I go uh, uh, have different beaches. It's a long coast. Yes, okay. So I will drive. Uh, I will ride uh, my bike. Yes, uh, we will eat uh, in the beach. Uh, we will play volleyball in the beach, yes, we will buy souvenirs, yes, in the little shops near the beach, yes, because I like shopping, you know, uh, we are going to uh, have a bath, yes, um, in the, we are going to have a bath, we are going to swim, because we suppose we are not there, we, we didn't go to the hotel again, Yes, so it must be there. Yes, okay. Um, we are going to uh, see the nature. Yes, and etc. Yes, you continue. What will you see? We are going to see the beach. We will see the beach. We will see the different shops. We will see the different little cities in the place. Uh, I will go to uh, maybe... Uh, we will go to uh, Hawaii, yes, okay, because I like Hawaii in a micro adventure, yes, okay. Um, well, that's all, yes, and you have to write down all the things you will see, okay. Well, uh, in exercise eight, it says describe your plans for the micro adventure. Whenever you write, when you finish writing, you have to organize your ideas and talk about this. Where will you go? To Hawaii. Uh, what will you do? I will go to the beach, I will sunbathe, I will uh, rent a car, I will rent two bikes, I will drive 
yes, along the beaches, yes, I will see nature, the nature, uh, etc. Yes, okay? Well, all the plants, okay? So I wait for you in next class. I wait for you next class. Remember, you have to uh, record a video between two and three minutes. Between two and three minutes, okay? Well, um, it's been a pleasure. Yes, see you next class. Uh, I hope I wait for nice stories, yes? Remember to organize your ideas, organize the tenses, yes, organize tenses, pronounce uh, the ED, well pronounced, yes, okay? Bye-bye, see you next class.